Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this Photoshop Elements Fade to Transparent effect, which is very useful if you want to do something like maybe a card over here, put your text on this side, or do a dreamlike photo merge like this. Very easy to do, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, here's our original picture. We'll be using this for our faded transparent. This is a standard shot with the subject right in the middle of the page like that. So we need to get her over here on the left-hand side. I'll start off by making a duplicate of the background. Right-click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. There we go. We can then hide that background. And I can now just push this over here to the left-hand side. I'll put it right about here. So it's about one-third of the picture on the left-hand side. Somewhere in there is pretty good. You can go anywhere you want depending upon the composition you want. But I'll stick it right here for this video. The next thing we need to do is to put in a transition from this image into transparent right in this area, right around in here. So for that, we use a layer mask. So let's make a new layer mask just like that. There we go. I'm on the layer mask side. I have my colors set at black to white. As you can see right down here, let's just invert the colors. So white in front, black in back. Let's now go up here to the gradient tool. And then come down to the options. If you're not seeing that gradient right there, click on the actual gradient. This brings up the gradient editor. We'll be using this in just a bit. You should be seeing the first gradient right here. This is the foreground and background color, whatever you have selected, that should be doing white to black. There we go. White left-hand side, black right-hand side. Choose OK. Now take this, you can see there's the cursor right there. Put it just off the left-hand side. Hold the Shift key down, pull to the right. That makes a perfectly straight line. And that gives you a gradient that fades from the white, which is full value, down to black on the right-hand side, which is totally transparent. As you can see, that's not exactly what we want. We need to have the gradient solid part ending in here somewhere, right around here. You need to get a better cursor. There we go, right around here, and then fading out pretty fast. So right in here is where we want that whole gradient to happen, a very, very short gradient. And we can do that by going back again to this Gradient Editor. Click on the gradient. There we go. Here's the editor. Now you have to kind of imagine this area here as being and covering the gradient from the beginning of our picture here to the other side. So that's that whole gradient right there. And that's right here, kind of represented. Now we can't make the size difference. You can't make it match exactly. But just you know, visualize in your mind. So we have about a third Maybe a little bit more right in here. So right around in here, so we want to have the white right around in here. So I'll grab the left hand stuff. This is our, our color stuff that's white. I want to bring that right over to about here. So this should give us a solid white clear up to this point. On the black, we want to have that starting full transparency. We want to have that not too far away, right in here someplace. So I'll grab the right hand side. That's our color stop black. Click on that. You can see there's the black color. Pull that in. And that will then give us full transparency at that point with a very short gradient. Choose OK. Let's try that again. You can put this right on top of the old gradient. That's just fine. Again, off to the left-hand side. Hold the Shift key down. Pull right to the right-hand side of that gradient right there. And there's a gradient. It's too much. Going in too far. Let's try that again. Left-hand side. I'll hold down. I'll pull clear to this side this time. That's looking better. Let's do it again. Click outside. Hold it. Pull it past a little ways. And that's pretty good. Now it's still it's too fast, too short in here. So let's go ahead and fix that. Go in here. So it's the white is not going far enough, and the black's coming in too fast. I'm gonna just move these a little bit. Pull the white over a bit further, and I'll pull them a little bit further apart. Just about like that. So you can see there's a little bit of trial and error in this to get to just the right fade in here for your gradient. Let's see how this works out. Choose OK. Again, off to the left hand side here, hold the shift key down, click and drag. Let's go clear to the right hand side. And that's looking pretty good right there. That's what I'm looking for is that level of gradient. So it's full right here. Maybe just a little bit of transparency beginning to happen right there. That's fine. And it's completely transparent right over here. It's just better cursor. There we go. So it's just a hint of transparency here. And it's totally transparent by here. That's our gradient. Let's go ahead and take a look at that gradient again. Here we go. And that's that bit right there. There's the full white. And that's right in about here. There's the gradient happening. That's right in there. And then here's the full transparency, and that's right about over here. So there we go, just an adjustment of these two ends. 
and finding the right spot for that against our image gives us that nice fade to transparent. Once you have that done, it's easy to change the background over here on the right hand side to anything you want. Go back up here. First thing I'll do is I'll fill this in. Let's come down to the background layer. Let's make a new layer right above that layer. Here we go. I'll grab the foreground color. Just click on that. When you have the color picker up, you'll get an eyedropper tool. And I'll just click up in here someplace, sky color. That makes that the foreground color. Choose OK. And then just fill this layer with that color. Paint bucket and fill. And there we go. Here is our fade out to a solid color on the right hand side. Real nice, easy look for doing a card, invitation, whatever. Your text goes over here on the right hand side. If you want to have a picture in behind this, again, it's going to be down underneath our image layer. I'll just place one here. Let's do a file. Actually, the one that I just used. I'll go ahead and I'll grab that one. And that's right here. I'll just float this. Any way you want to bring this picture in is fine. Just bring it in as a new layer right there underneath that layer so the image fades out the transparent and the transparency allows you to see this layer in behind right down there. So there you go. That's all there is to it. It's simply a matter of controlling that gradient using that editor. Let's take one last look at that. There is the gradient tool. Let's reset our colors. There we are. Click on the gradient right here. Brings up the editor right there. Simply move the left hand stop over and the right hand stop over. That's going to be your transition from solid to transparent. That's your gradient transition right here. Again, how far in these are determines where in your overall picture it happens. And how far apart these are determines how fast that gradient happens and shifts from solid to transparent. Okay, there you go. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.